I hate to do this, but uh, this was just a pure old, old fashioned just whooping. This was just a whooping. I make a pretty big mistake early on here, whereas I, uh, I had about 10 pawns in the middle here, and I was not paying attention to his commander, uh, walked right into me and basically killed all my units. But I did a greedy start. I think I, I got a bunch of constructors out. I just did two metal, one solar, and then a lab. All right, let me let me uh, slow it down here. Let me see who I'm up against. I'm up against a, a 17 player. <laughs> I don't know why he built all these perimeter cameras. I mean, I know it's super cheap, but uh, see, this is where I had all my, you can't see them, but I had at least six units to his one and his commander walks up and basically kills all my, my guys and I'm I'm not paying attention, I'm doing something in the base. I managed to save one of them. Uh, I, this was a misclick, I don't, uh, but it actually worked out because it gave me vision on this hill. And uh, ideally this hill was contested. Because I mean, if I, if I had like a a cannon or something up here, I mean, I could really harass the uh, enemy if he was like entrenched over here. Um, yeah, but anyway, that was a blunder. And I don't know what this other um, player is doing because these three Mexuses are his and he may not even know that like all right he, here's multiple mistakes by multiple players um, we're five minutes into the game this player has these three right here and this player has these three right here and so nobody has taken these no one has taken those um and then this player has not taken his three so they're at a huge disadvantage because they they lost half of their metal income whereas you can see i got i got all mine um, I asked the blue player since he was the highest ranked to grab these three extra in the middle um, It could have gone either way this other guy's high rank too um, But 26 is a lot higher than 19 um, You see everyone on our team has their uh, Their three extra but as you can see on their team, they got three players. This guy's only level nine, so I can understand maybe he don't know. But um, I can't really tell. All right, maybe this guy is no Yenith. He's level seventeen. 
Um, and then Orange is level 21. He definitely should know better. So, I mean, granted, he has an ex, you know, he's got one there, he's got one there, he's got one there, he's got an extra three, but he should have these three as well. Um, let's just look at the metal income. Yeneth has 12 income, which is this player, compared to, um, and that's just because he picked up, he just picked up that one and he, he's got that one as well. Um, I picked up that one. But he, he's at a, just a major disadvantage. And then uh, this guy has an income of eight. N Noxy. Compared to his opponent who has an income of 21. Um... The orange player has an income of 11 compared to um, Ted Hooker who has 22. I mean, so we're only five minutes into the game, guys, and we have already, like, doubled their... I wish... I, I don't remember what the thing was to have the team stats up here in the top right corner. If anyone knows how to do that, let me know. Leave a comment. But as you can see, our, even our lowest ranked player has an income of 18, 14, 22, 13, 16, 14, 21, and 54. He must already be T2 uh, or about T2. He did have these extra three over here. So that would explain why he's, he's higher. Um, he sacrificed his commander and is going a quick T2. Um, but yeah, this this whole game, like, I just have, like, tons and tons and tons of metal income. And uh, th this is just mind-boggling to me that nobody on their team had any, didn't even say anything. I mean, if you see five minutes into the game, they haven't grabbed their three metal it, tell them if they don't listen you go grab them and if they get mad at you you can give them back to them later on or just or just you can just uh highlight them and there's a button um in game uh i don't know if you can do it on replay but basically how you give units there's a way to give units there's a way to give energy and the way to give metal um but yeah, if, they, if you see them like that, just grab them for them. And uh, yeah, it might put you a little behind, but they don't cost much. I want to say they're like, what, 50 metal to, uh, to build? So, I mean, you're out of 150 metal um, and some energy. But in the long run, that would help them out a ton. Um... Now this game, what I definitely could have done better is upgrading my my metal extractor sooner. Because early on, I mean, this blue guy gives me a T2 right off the bat. Um, and see, this one little misclick gave me scouting of this whole area. I'm not sure how he got that. I don't know how he got that up there. Um, maybe he he did it from down below. I don't I don't know. There's just so much happening in these eight v eights. It's hard to. Uh, but see, he gave me a T two already. So, um, so basically what I'm doing is, uh, I'm upgrading these. I should have maybe, uh, hit shift and then upgraded these as well. But I don't know how long that guy was idle for, but I know he was idle for quite some time. But, um, 
you know, I've got this metal up here. I got two towers. I'm building another metal. I'm building two more towers. Uh, 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 a radar, uh, invisible thing, and then I, I was going to grab that as well. Uh, I already got my geo up, whereas there's no geo on this side. All right, he's finally decided to come over here, but he hasn't even taken the metal yet. And uh, Red decided to take his three because he's like, all right, well, this guy's a damn idiot, and I'm going to take his. Um, I mean, Red, Red's got these, well, uh, two of the three up here, and then these three. So Red is really killing it. Um, Red's really doing good. Um, and Orange did finally grab those, but, um, you know, those were several minutes that maybe four or five minutes that went by that that uh, they had half the metal income and see I see this green player pushing and maybe this guy wasn't paying attention because he could have easily uh, sacrificed his commander to basically kill this army and uh, maybe that's what he should have done um, I don't think he has the energy to shoot. Um, he ends up backing away. But I see him pushing from that side. So that's when I decide to push with my army. And uh, if I'm constantly making units and they're not making units, like this guy's not making any units. Um, I don't know what he's doing. But... I know for a fact my army is be bigger than his army uh, at this point because this guy has already taken out half of his army. And uh, I don't know who this is. I guess this is Dudu Brown guy coming, but he's only got uh, a couple units. Um, so he did try to help. But um, my army is so much bigger. And look, he's still not making any units. Alright, he's got one in Q now. He's got a grunt in Q. And uh, I mean, I got 12 palms with, you know, um, a bunch more on the way. And. I don't know if I made the right decision here. Maybe going up this hill is like a death trap because, you know, but he's only got one tower defending and one grunt up here. So I think I made the right decision. Um, he starts panicking now a little bit. He's, but there's nothing really to stop me. I mean, I got two palms and a light laser tower in my way. And I, I believe I changed the, um, at some point I changed the rally point up here somewhere. But, you know, I got 20 units about to roll into his base. I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to alert my teammates. I have not figured out how to, um, do the ping thing where you, uh, um, I, I see head up there so I didn't know if he was talking to me or not um, but 